what's up guys welcome back to clash Rack. guys lightning spell is so popular at every single town hall level right now the zap lalo is crazy across the board that's what we're going to be taking into war today we're going to have a couple attacks here from this war and then we're going to go over to the live stream where i had to attack bases that had already been tripled because we already cleared all the bases so it's still going to be fun we're going to go crush the bases so guys make sure the like button hit the subscribe button and if you spend any money in the game don't forget to go put in code eric all right, guys, let's go dive into it. Let's look at the base here that we're attacking first. I have uh, my Town Hall 11 in this war, so he's going to clear base 3, I think. So we're just going to hit base 4. Next one down the line here. And it is a max Town Hall 9 with max heroes. And what we're going to do is we're going to lightning out the CC. That is the basic setup of this attack here, is to destroy the CC. And then once the CC is destroyed, then we're going to send in our heroes to try to go after the enemy queen. And if we get extra air defenses, extra wizard towers, then that's going to be hugely beneficial. And then we're just going to swarm the rest of the base with a couple of hounds and a whole bunch of balloons. All right, ready to do it? Should we just dive into it? All right, let's just go. Let's just go. I'll explain a little bit further how it works in the second attack there so you can see the just the basic idea behind it. But we're just going to dive right at this one and we're just going to take it down. I'll show you just the general flow of it. So let's just go. All right, so what I'm going to start off with is air defenses take three lightnings and a quake to destroy to destroy the actual clan castle which will make so the cc troops can never be deployed it takes seven level six lightnings and a max quake it has to be a max quake you got to get one donated to you it can't be a lower level one so what we're going to do is we'll go right in between the two one two three one two three and then we'll put the last one over on the other side there and then we'll quake it all out so we can hit all these buildings with the quake take out the air defenses and now we're ready to go we'll just throw in like one balloon right there and a minion to start to form the funnel right there and uh i guess we don't really need a funnel right there we're just gonna go with the heroes on the other side we're gonna wall break them in throw a minion out in the corner there we're just gonna put this king to just uh tank everything and allow us to step forward as soon as our tower is a tank we will wall break it open and we're gonna get my queen to step into them we'll put the queen right here and how about a minion down the line there? Uh, I am uh, using up a lot of my minions there. And I, I have three hounds, so I'm not really too worried about cleanup. But we don't want to forget if there's any corner huts something like that. We want to make sure that we take care of them. So is my queen actually going to go in? Uh, maybe she's going to take the roundabout way to get to that queen. That's a little bit scary right there. That's a little bit scary. I don't know where she's going to go. But I'm a little nervous. I feel like we need to do something to guard or protect her, but I think I'm just going to let her coast. She might engage the king first, and that's potentially going to be a problem here. Let's pop her ability now and preserve her health, and then we will send in the lava hounds. Let's go into the backside of these sweepers. Let's go. If I can get this uh, higher level lava hound to pop over that enemy queen, you know what I mean? Coming with some more from the flank here and look how we're not really using our uh, haste yet we're just gonna let those hounds pop so we have a chance to kill that enemy queen you know what i'm saying yeah so the enemy queen's gonna take that extra damage there we'll uh, pop the haste now and we'll shoot a couple of blues into the teslas over here we're gonna save this last haste until we go into the wizard tower on the far 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 side over here let's do it now all right see how that works really simple right we got the pups to kill the queen. That worked out really, really nice. I tried to get my queen to step in there. She didn't want to cooperate. Probably should have planned out the funnel a little bit better to trim out those side buildings and drive her in. But you know what? It worked out. It worked out just fine. And honestly, if you're really worried about the queen kill, you don't really need a lot of spell support for this. You really could drop one of those haste and uh, replace it with a skeleton spell. You could take out that queen with uh, just a skeleton spell and the pups. I don't know. It's just an option. You got to think about stuff like that. Anything you can do to get the queen down. But if she's exposed, especially if she's next to the CC, then you can actually hit her with lightnings and you'll kill her while you're taking out the CC anyways. And anything else around it. It looks like I have dragons actually cooking up here. Do we do dragons? I feel like we should. In fact, right now, let's cut over to an attack from the live stream where somebody else used dragons. I believe it was Momo. So let's go over right now. But we got Wild Momo coming in for some Town Hall 9 action here. He's got three lightnings and a couple quakes as well. What's mean? Three, six lightnings. Six lightnings. That's what I'm trying to say. He got a three star with the same attack earlier. Maybe we'll check that in a minute. But 
He's going to come in with an e drag to form half of the funnel here. He's uh, zapping out the other ones. The king's coming down for another of the uh, air defenses. And the queen will step up right on his flank there. Go to take out the air defense. The uh, e drag actually got a chain off of it and weakened up a little bit. But that's not really going to make a big difference here. Steps all the way in the core of the base there. Nothing comes out of that CC. That means there's a hound inside. And that is going to be perfect for this attack here. Dragons claps in and use the lightning as a funneling point over in the 3 o'clock corner. As he zaps and quakes out the other air defense on the far side of the base there. Now... I think the heroes might have been able to reach that one, but he's not going to play anything to chance there. He's going to charge the dragons right in. Big Tetsu Farm pops up around the gold storages, and he's into the core of the base here. Queen's going to go down without any problem. He has a Lava Hound out in front of the dragons as well, and that Lava Hound is tanking everything, and it's going to go right at the Tetsu Farm there, clearing the way for the dragons to move through. Queen still has ability. She's going to step through the wall there, potentially. Unless the dragons can clear the way first, she'll pop her ability, and this is looking like it is absolutely crushed. Nice hit here by Wild Momo, making... This look easy. I mean, he's still going to have the Hound survive. If it could pop right to the end, that'd be awesome. I don't know if it's going to. Yeah, there it is. Easy three star coming in from Momo. And guys, we got a live attack. Let's bounce over and see what else is coming in right now. I am all hyped up. I want to go do another dragon attack. And we're going to do one against base number five. So look at the army comp here. I don't have it fully trained up here. Still moving. But we have six lightnings and we have a quake spell. So, three lightnings and a quake is enough to destroy an air defense. And we're not actually after the CC, so the max level quake is not required. We're going to try to destroy air defenses and other high value targets that also form a funnel to shoot dragons at the base. Dragons need a funnel. If they don't have a very tight funnel that keeps them all together, so they're all just surging through the base as a group, then they do struggle a bit. So, you got to keep them tight. You got to keep them together. And if they start to spread out, then they're going to start to get picked off. And it can be a detriment to your attack here. So, let's look at the base here. Let's talk about what we're doing. All right. So, we have the CC over here. We obviously want to take out some air defenses. And we can actually zap out two of them. And then we can charge the other two with our Lava Hound. We could go in with our heroes to go snipe another one. But the CC is right here and whenever possible, try to avoid pulling the CC with your heroes during dragon attacks because you want your heroes to go in here and form funnels to keep the dragons tight together. So if I can have my heroes come in somewhere away from the CC, then I'm going to get better value out of them. So what I want to do here is I'm going to lightning out this one and I'm going to lightning out this one. Now, normally... If they were closer together, I would use the same lightning to hit both of them. So I have to spread out the lightning and it's kind of a downside of uh, having the air defenses a little bit spread like this. But you know what? We're still going to make it work. So we'll have three onto this air defense. Three plus the the uh, any level of quake above level three will be able to take down that uh, air defense here. I think even maybe a level two. I'm not entirely sure about that. But level three is uh, the max for Town Hall 9. So I know that for sure. And it will drop that air defense. And then we need three over here. But we can actually have a Quake hit both of them, even though the Lightning can't span that distance. So we can put three here, three here, Quake to cover both of them, and then three without a Quake will destroy the Air Sweeper, and then we'll charge where this Air Sweeper was pointing with our Dragons. We'll kill off that CC very, very early, and we'll go into these Air Defenses, and we'll use a Lava Hound that was donated to me to go out and tank these Air Defenses while my Dragons push in. They'll quickly deal with that CC, and they'll just coast into the other side of the base there. We'll use a Rage somewhere i'm not entirely sure if i want to use the rage when i fight the enemy queen or if i want to use it while i'm fighting the air defenses i feel like we got to get those air defenses down if we can get the air defenses down quickly and we can preserve the health of my lava hound i think we can just coast right into that enemy queen and we'll be all right okay so funnel if i want to drive my dragons in through these air defenses then i need to clear out right down here on one side of the funnel and I need to clear out over here on the other side. The convenient thing is all these defenses will already be destroyed. So all I have to do to form a funnel over there is drop a baby dragon to start clearing the outer trash. That'll form the funnel and then the dragons can just pick up wherever the baby dragon left off and they can collapse in and work their way to the air defenses. So that means we just need to funnel over here and my heroes can do that perfectly and they're not going to pull the CC when they do it. So they can work their way along this edge here, grabbing some archer towers, maybe even work their way over that queen. Not counting on that, but I really want to narrow their pathing so that there's a natural cho choke point in the base there through this air defense. Because these will be down, remember, the heroes will take these, so all the buildings 
will be down on either side of the dragons pushing directly into this air defense and they'll shoot into the other side there they'll lock onto the queen they'll get pulled forward in the expos and they'll just clean out that other side of the base there they shouldn't have too much problems but guys let's go dive into it let's all make sure we have our troops ready let's jam it up here if we need to it looks like we are perfectly timed here five four three two I, I can't count i'm off i'm out of sync all right here we go let's go do it do i need the wall breakers I got the wall breakers here for my heroes, and I don't really think I need them. Yeah, we're just going to drop them. We're just going to drop them, and uh, we'll pick up a couple extra blooms. You can always use extra blooms. All right. That was good. That's good. Let's not jam the blues, though, because we don't have time to wait. Let's dive in. We're going live in three, two, one. Let's go. Hey, by the way, um, I got a, a haste here. I don't know what I'm going to use that haste for, honestly. I probably should swap it out for a poison. If you're going against witches or something like that, then maybe it's better if you bring some witches. Or it's not witches. Um, a poison, just to make sure that you can deal with that CC. But I just have a dragon in there, and I'm going to fight it right away. So I'm just going to bring that haste. I'll, I'll find a use for it, you know? Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. We're live. So, first things first. Let's get this funnel formed. Now, I could go in with my heroes to start. Or I could go with the lightning to start. Let's just do the lightning. We'll do it fast. We'll go one, two, three. One, two, three. Lightning. Or, not lightning. That thing. Let's go with the heroes on the other side here. So let's put the king here. We'll put the queen here. And we do got a couple tests to pop in. So why don't we use one of those balloons? And we need another balloon over here just to search for black mines in the area for that baby dragon as well. So we're going to pop this king. Queen can work her way through there. Let's throw a minion over in the corner. Just uh, collapse in a little bit. And let's throw a dragon over here. And the dragon can start to work his way in. And then they'll all collapse together. And uh, all looking good. All looking good. The queen doesn't need to go crazy far here. We did find some Tesla, So she's going to get some extra value out of the approach that she made there anyway. So let's start with the dragons. Get a couple of balloons down. All right. So let's get a... I want to rage when I get a little bit closer. We have a lava hound and the balloons are working their way in. Let's get a ridge now. Right, we hit a couple of the dragons. We're hitting the pups, right? Let's get a, a minion working on the far side here just to start to trim it down. Another one up there just so we can work our way in. Okay, the dragons are going to hit the haste here. Let's uh, haste them up here and haste all of that because might, might as well hit everything while it's all together, right? Dragons are going to go in there and then they're going to start to fan out from there. But we got to get to those expos quick and into the archer tower. So we're going to swing in a balloon to go work along this flank here. Just to, as the balloon is uh, going to go onto the archer tower, they're going to help out in just a second. But we need a little bit more cleanup over here, I guess. And where do we want to put the last minion? I guess... Um, just somewhere that uh, we can collapse these dragons back in. Let's throw it over here on the edge, and we can see if we can push all the dragons upward to that last arch tower. Can we get that arch tower down? Not quite. We still have a minute, and the minions are working through all the trash there. That balloon not getting the crash damage onto it either. Went down a little bit early. We have a handful of dragons left, and we're looking pretty good here. With a minute left, we have more than enough time. We should be able to get it. We just got to get in these final couple defenses. Two Teslas and an Arch Tower is all that remains. And it looks like the one... Oh, those, there's four dragons in there. I thought there was only three. Guys, this is... This is... This is a three-star. This is a three-star all day. There we go. That's a six-pack. Easy day, guys. Easy day. So, what I recommend is if you guys don't already have a chosen army right now, Depending on what you can get donated to you, if you can regularly get those Max Quakes donated to you, the Zap Quake Lalo is insanely strong. We're actually going to go look at a couple more of those right now from the live stream. But if not, Zap Dragons, I'm telling you, it's really good. Especially if they group their defenses a little bit closer together and you can take out multiple of them with the same lightnings. Yeah, that's good stuff. All right, guys, let's head over to the live stream and let's see my Zap Quake Lalos from there. Let's do it. Well, let's hit the base 21. All right. Here we go. That Plalo coming in hot. All right. So what we're going to do is I'll wait for this queen to circle around. But I, I want to actually hit a little bit more than just a queen. I want to get the arch tower and I want to get the sweeper. So I need her to circle. We'll go two, three. And then circle a little bit further. Like that. We'll quick this all out. Or quick it. 
I mean, not quad wicket. And then we'll send in my queen and my king over here. That baby dragon up there to push him off to the uh, to the right. Or the queen right there. And we'll go after some wizard towers and try to break the ring of defenses here. That's the most important thing that we got to go for here. So we'll go for a wall break here. Oh, oh, there goes my wall breakers. Ah, uh, that was dumb. That was a uh, that was a rookie mistake right there. You know, we'll be all right though. We'll be all right. We're gonna pop this king. That'll get the queen to attack the wall here, and we'll be fine. We'll get through. Come on, queen. Gosh, this level uh, 30 queen does so little damage. It takes her forever to get through. I got auto ability. And I'll suck Lalo. And step through. Thank you. The hand over here. Clean up down. All right. Do another hound here. Essence are popping up. Yeah, all right. Two haste. Let's use one to catch these balloons up. And use another one in the middle here. More Tess is popping. I don't know if I got it. We gotta get that expo down up here. Go down expo. Got it. Okay, okay. We're all right. We're all right. I got a hound alive there. It'll pop at the end. Throw a minion down, and I feel like we uh, got this pretty much under control. Throw a minion back here. Got a lot of balloons. We're gonna make it through. All right, so <laughs> a little bit scary there because my balloons, we didn't finish breaking the ring of defenses for my queen. Or my, my queen not going through and finishing breaking the ring de defenses made it so some of my balloons cut across the base instead of going with the main pack. And that reduced the effectiveness of my spells there. And uh, whenever you do zap Lala, you gotta send the heroes all the way into wherever you zapped out. So that all of the balloons uh, travel the same path around the base as they circle. So we'll get it. It wasn't pretty, but it's a triple. All right. Do another one here. We hit 21 and all the town hall nines are already tripled. So we'll just hit this one. No looking, just go. All right. So we have sweepers on one side of the, uh, CC. We got Expo on the other with another air defense. So what we're going to do is we're going to split it up here and we're going to try to hit all of it. We're going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. Press four. And we will uh, pick out right here. Where we hit both of the Expos, get the CC down. Now we can send in our heroes after the Queen. And go to get that town hall. There's a lot of storages right here. That's not going to be too much problems. Let's throw in a baby dragon over here. A wall break as well. The king to have access, right? For now. Okay, I'll walk the king onto the queen. His ability, get through. And let's get this queen in here. Like I said a little bit ago that I like you have to break the ring of defenses and now I immediately go in and break my own rule. The reason I had to do that is because I didn't get the queen down with the zap. So I'm going to have to Lalo into both of these air defenses here, but you know, we'll be all right. Let's go into here. One over here. Here. Pull the thing up down. Get a haste here. I'm gonna haste here because we gotta we're gonna ditch a lot of our hounds here we just gotta cross through these wizard towers as quick as possible we'll hold on to this last balloon for the backside wizard tower and see if i can get some tanking on it everything approaches now oh, we got the hounds is there so they're gonna do the tanking so that'll work even better as it's crushed easy day That's how we do it. That's how we do it at Town Hall 9. 
little uh, less reliable when you just uh, go at the whole base at once like that. But, you know, you can, you can make it work. We're going to end on that uh, bottom builder hut there, which is everything's going to end right there anyways. And maybe it's a little bit too efficient there, taking out too many air defenses. And it makes so my hounds don't get popped. But, you know, it's going to be all right. We got two of the hounds to pop there. The max hound is, yeah, it's a little bit overkill for Town Hall 9. But you do need the max quake no matter what. If you do seven lightnings and then a max quake, it is your best spell combination. And if you don't have that, you if you don't have a max quake, you have to bring eight lightnings and you lose a haste. And that makes it really difficult. Two haste is already difficult enough. So keep that in mind there. Get that max quake and you'll be all right. All right, guys. That's going to be it for today. Thanks everybody for coming out and joining me. Make sure it's the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to use code ERIC whenever you make any in-app purchase. If you buy anything in the shop here, go down in the very bottom of your settings tab and help support the channel here by typing in code ERIC. It expires once every seven days, so don't forget to re-enter it if you want to help support. But guys, thanks so much for watching. Take it easy. Suck less. And I'll see you guys in the next one.